Good morning, people on YouTube. This is Catfine Jedi, and I am finally making my most requested video ever. Or second most requested. Well, one of the most requested videos, which is How Do You Move to Japan? For those of you who don't know, which I'm assuming is. Who wouldn't know? Maybe just someone just passing through this video. Hi, I'm living in Japan. I have been living in Japan for almost two years. And in that time, I've moved three times. Um. So why don't we begin on how exactly do you get the process going? I suppose I can only speak really about my own experience, but maybe this will help you. But um, my experience, uh, there's three factors that really play into how I got my job. Um, number one, being a native speaker and being American, uh, having a university degree, and actually being a woman helps a lot. I mean, nails, my fingers. I have tiny fingers. Rah, rah, rah. I never noticed it before, but I have small hands. Um, yeah, just adding that in. Uh, so I'm going to say ah, ah, ah constantly in this video because uh, I have no notes, which I should have had some notes, but um, I've been trying to make this video again and again, and, and I just keep deleting it. So continue on. First thing I have to say is about the mindset you should be in in order to come to Japan. Now I hear this again and again, and I swear, I'm just sick of it. The typical Westerner, foreign man from whatever country, English-speaking country, who's like, I'm going to come to Japan, and I'm just going to get laid because of my big American dick. I say it just like that, because I swear to fucking God that that's exactly how I've heard being said. And so for you people, please, just click off this video. And don't ask me any questions, because I don't want to hear it. I really, truly despise people like this because it makes it like for everyone who wants to live in Japan like a normal life it makes it just look really hard because that becomes the stereotype of what uh, a foreigner in Japan is at least the gaijin western foreigner is a drunk idiot who uh, just wants to bang lots of chicks and not work okay that being said let's continue on so, the easiest thing, way to get to Japan, um, I'm assuming there's two ways, one of which I can only talk about the way I took. There's studying abroad, which you can do through your university, depending, you know, where you go, and um, finding a job in Japan post-university graduation. I say that post-university graduation because many jobs require you to have a university grad a degree in order to come to get a job in Japan teaching English. Uh, it's not really that the school will require that, as is immigration requires that for a visa. I don't know why. You also should belong or be from a native English-speaking country. Um, if you're from the Philippines or India, which some, you know, some count as native speaking and some don't. It, it gets a little tricky there. I can't really talk uh, from experience, but I've had friends from the Philippines who teach English in Japan. However, they get a lot more red tape than do people from, let's say, the U.S., the U.K., Canada, Australia, New Zealand. And that's about as many as I can think of off the top of my head. So, how do you begin finding a job in Japan? Well, there's two websites I could think of. Well, three really that can help you a lot, and I'm going to leave the links there. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is Gaijin Pot. Uh, there's good and bad to Gaijin Pot. Gaijin Pot is uh, it'll narrow down your searches a lot uh, to the exact place you want to go to, and um, what are your skills, and you can post your resume pretty much, and then you start applying for jobs. The bad part to Gaijin Pot is um, if you don't meet certain requirements, uh, you sometimes, like, they won't even let you apply for certain jobs. Even if you think, well, maybe you have something else to make up for that requirement. So you find yourself lying a lot just to apply. And um, because it's such a popular website, you're going to find that when you send resumes or, yeah, your resume to certain companies looking for people, it gives you a counter of how many resumes have been sent. And I've literally seen some in the thousands of sent just for one job. Now, that being said, I myself have gotten two of my jobs through Gaijin Pot. Um, so it's not a complete loss. So now you're asking yourself, well, what is going to put me above everyone else in Japan? 
Now, um, I guess I should talk about the realities of finding a job here as of this date.